Hello everyone, welcome back to Easy Education London and in this video we are providing our predictions for the GCSE English exams taking place in May and June 2024. Now before we get started I just wanted to say a massive thank you to all our subscribers for your continuous support and if you are interested in joining our online classes do contact us at easyeducationlondon.com you can visit our website or alternatively you can send us an email which is easyeducationlondon at gmail.com if you join our online classes we provide continuous support we go through exam papers model answers you write answers in class our teachers will provide you with feedback and not just generic feedback but rather constructive feedback on areas for you to improve and also you get access to some of our predicted papers with the full answers. Now, let's get started with our predictions now. Starting off with question number one, this is for the power and conflict um, poetry exams, which are taking place in May 2024. Now, this is, this is specifically to those of you studying the AQA exam board. And the first predict predicted question we have is, compare how the impact of conflict is presented in poppies and one other poem. So that's the first question that we have predicted. So to those of you who have studied poppies, um, again, an amazing poem. And to be honest, I say that for all, all 15, but uh, you know, it's a very interesting poem. And it's important that you go over the key themes, the key quotes, um, and you are able to comment on language, structure, and form, etc. And as I've said previously in the previous videos, make sure you're familiar with the mark scheme and the assessment objectives criteria. The second predicted question we have is compare how the power of import sorry, compare the compare how the power of or importance of identity is presented in checking out me history and one other poem so again this one um, is another poem which is part of your power and conflict cluster and I do hear sometimes from students sir uh, I don't like this poem etc or I don't get it it's important you you actually understand and prepare for it because who knows they may decide to surprise you and um, you know have this come up in the exam and it's important you once again go over the key quotes if you want to write them on a flashcard you can write them on a flashcard uh, the key themes and also practice some past papers and also importantly look at model answers so that's the second question the third one we have is compare how the power of nature uh, slash suffering is presented in exposure and one other poem so exposure again um, uh, you know many students have asked me sir will exposure come up well it it is most certainly a possibility okay, it's not guaranteed but again we can possibly see that appearing in your exams in may 2024 and the last and final question um, i have here is the following compare the ways poets present the power of humans in tissue and one other poem now tissue okay the famous tissue okay um a lot of controversy and some students hate it some students love it um personally i think it's an interesting poem there's so much happening there's so much to talk about and it it is yet to come up in your exams now um, the reason why it hasn't come up yet could be, okay, now it could be uh, that AQA have realised that students struggle with this poem and they've left it for, uh, uh, you know, for the upcoming year, etc. But now, um, if you narrow down the past papers and you go through the past papers, you'd realise tissue is yet to come up. Now, if you think about it, it will eventually come up right because it is part of the uh, power and conflict anthology so eventually it will most likely come up now will it come up this year who knows but again that is a possibility so that could be a plausible prediction to make that tissue could appear this year so don't don't neglect tissue because otherwise you may need a box of tissues <laughs> in the example um, but I would say strongly to revise the key themes, the key quotes, 
Um, and also, if you are wondering how to analyse and annotate the poem, do check out our channel because we've covered all 15. Um, I believe it's, in, it's on our playlist as well. So there shouldn't be any questions or any confusion this, um, in terms of that. Um, and what I would say the best, best approach is to work through past paper questions, um, creating flashcards, creating mind maps, using revision guides, and also attending extra tuition lessons, um, etc. So that is our Power and Conflict Poetry Predictions for 2024. So just to wrap up and to summarise, we've got poppies, um, we've got checking out in history, we've got exposure, and we've got tissue. Now, it's important at the same time you are studying and going over the previous poems from Ozymandias to Kamikaze to War Photographer, etc. The list goes on. Why do, why, do, why do you think I suggest this? The reason I suggest this is there could be a poem that you can make comparisons with. Okay, Now, if you're familiar and strong with all 15, surely you'll find it easier to compare in the exam compared to someone uh, or a student who has just gone over maybe 10. Okay, so I've seen it before where students say, oh, this poem is not is not going to come up, right? Um, and next thing you know, that's the same poem that they needed for the exam. So it's super important. It's crucial that you are confident and aware of all 15 poems just to be on the safe side. And this is an area of your literature exam which you cannot, cannot neglect. Because if you can get the top marks for your pound conflict question you'll find unseen poetry easy or easier rather the reason i say this is that the 15 poems that you study in, in class what you'll see in the unseen poem is you will see some similarities in terms of the themes uh the character analysis whatever right you are definitely going to find some similarities um, between your unseen poetry and one of the 15 there could be a link somewhere now if you had studied all 15 Surely that is a plus point. That is an advantage for you for your unseen poetry. And that answers my, you know, the question that we often get from students. Uh, how do I revise for unseen poetry? Why do I always struggle? It's because you're not actually understanding the 15 that you have been chosen or selected to study. Because it covers a range of ideas. It covers a range of themes. And it's ultimately training and equipping you uh, with the right knowledge and skills to answer to answer the unseen poetry section, and in terms of unseen poetry, it's honestly it comes down to practice. Practice makes perfect. That's something that I instill in my students' minds. Keep on practicing these past papers and just familiarize yourself with these poems. The more exposure you give to your, um, you know, uh, to yourself to these poems, the better prepared you'll be. So you need that exposure. Uh, for unseen poetry but saying that remember exposure could be one of your poems that comes up in your exams now comment below if you did if you did stay until the end of this video uh, just so that i know and um, if you understand that pun but anyways um, that is it for today's video um, i think that is quite um, straightforward and simple to understand and now it comes down to you all practicing and preparing for this exam don't forget to follow us on all social media platforms at easy education london uh, on tiktok and instagram and once again thank you all for the continuous support please subscribe like and share with your family and friends as it does help our channel grow um, continuously and also leave a comment and a like below um, as we are always looking at ways to grow and expand our YouTube channel. So thank you very much and I shall see you very soon. Thank you.